Hello everyone and welcome to another review on the Product Lab. My name is Jordan and today we have the JBL Clip 4, which is one of their newest and most portable Bluetooth speakers ever. It offers solid sound quality, reliable wireless connection, and outstanding build quality for around $80. But it, can it really live up to the hype? Or should you consider other options in this price range? And after you get it, what should you expect? Let's find out. Like most other JBL offerings, the Clip 4 comes with a quick and intuitive pairing process that only takes a few moments. To pair it, you only need to press the Bluetooth button and select the speaker from the list of available wireless devices, and you'll hear an audible chime when connected. It's also easy to use and offers buttons to control the power and adjust the volume, and you can skip songs by double tapping the play button. But it's unable to skip backwards and lacks JBL's Party Boost feature to pair additional compatible speakers. You should note that it has an exceptionally compact, lightweight design that only weighs around half a pound, and it's available in multiple color variants to match your aesthetic as well. Like its predecessor, the Clip 3, it has a convenient built-in carbiner, so you can clip it to your bag or belt loop for your better portability. The speaker is made from quality aluminum and silicone components, and it's wrapped in a mesh fabric grill that protects the internal components and provides an excellent IP67 water resistance rating, so you can safely bring it almost anywhere you go. If you're looking for an alternative that offers similar portability, the previous JBL Clip 3 offers compared to build quality quality and functionality at a lower price, but the sound isn't as powerful and it uses a less efficient Bluetooth 4.1 standard. The Clip 4 utilizes modern Bluetooth 5.1 connectivity to provide a stable wireless connection that's easier on the battery. Unfortunately, it lacks a 3.5 millimeter aux in port for legacy devices and multi-point pairing support to connect with multiple audio sources at the same time, but delivers a low latency connection that's appropriate for watching videos or listening to music. It also doesn't support high-end APTX format, which is a common omission at this price point. While it doesn't offer a class-leading runtime, you should know that the battery life is solid for the price and size. The battery is rated to deliver deliver up to 10 hours of continuous playtime, which should be enough to satisfy most on-the-go listening requirements, and it offers a convenient auto-off feature after 20 minutes of inactivity to conserve power. It also doesn't support fast charging, but it charges through the modern USB-C port and can fully recharge in around 3 hours. Under the hood, it uses a single 40mm 5W dynamic driver to deliver surprisingly quality mono audio and reasonably wide soundstage. Overall, you get a respectably clear sound signature with an impressive mid-range response to add detail and crisp treble that doesn't sound overly harsh or bright, but the bass is somewhat weak and can lack clarity. The speaker's maximum volume output isn't the best, so it's not well suited for larger spaces or outdoor gatherings, and it tends to produce compression artifacts when pushed, but the sound remains solid at moderate levels. If you're looking for a speaker that offers better dynamics, the Sony XB13 is a slightly cheaper option that offers impressive maximum volume and superior battery life, but the build isn't as robust and it lacks a convenient carbiner clip. You should also note that it has relatively limited feature set compared to some other competitors in this range. Unlike the Sony XB13, and the JBL Clip 3, it lacks a built-in microphone, so you can't answer phone calls or even pair it with your voice assistant. It also lacks a companion app, so you can't customize the audio to your preference, select from previous set listening modes, or download firmware updates. Overall, the JBL Clip 4 is a solid portable Bluetooth speaker that offers respectable audio performance considering its relatively affordable price and small stature. With its sturdy, fully waterproof builds, decent sound quality, built-in carbiner, and intuitive control layout, it's not hard to see why it's getting so much hype. But is it going to be the perfect portable speaker for everyone? It's hard to say. The JBL Clip 3 is an even more affordable option that offers similar functionality, build quality, and features. While the Sony XB13 is slightly larger but delivers more bass and battery life, however, the Clip 4 is a rugged speaker that offers upgraded sound and better build quality than its predecessor, and it's designed to play your favorite tunes wherever you go. I think the Clip 4 is a worthwhile buy if you're looking for an ultra affordable speaker, but other alternatives are also worth looking at at this price range. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all the items mentioned, check the description. If you guys learned something or find this video helpful, give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and like short and form tech videos. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.